We are currently in my bathroom and the entire video will pretty much be shot here in my bathroom because in this video I am organizing my diabetes supplies which since I moved here maybe three months ago has just been in here in a very unorganized way because the old apartment where we lived had like better built-in shelves so I couldn't really bring that with me so I bought a few new things from Amazon and we're going to set up my organized diabetes supplies because I love having organized diabetes supplies it makes so much of a difference so I ordered these off of Amazon. They literally came on the same day, which I'm so excited for. Um, but first let's clean it out and kind of categorize it because I feel like that's the easiest way to actually make it organized in like a system that not only can help you like make site changes feel less stressful because you're able to really easily grab what you need and not feel overwhelmed by like searching for things, but also it's so helpful to see if you're running low on things and I just overall think it makes diabetes less stressful. So whatever we can do to support that, I love. I also just like have random bags, like this is an anthropology bag. It's so unorganized right now. This is gonna give me so much joy to work through and get all of this stuff organized. I have this habit of just saving like random things I don't think I'll ever need. Um, I just, like this old Omnipod case, I have so many meter cases that I don't even think I have test strips. I don't even think they make test strips for some of these anymore, but I just, I have a hard time throwing them away. I did a similar clean out yesterday to a different room. So I have this half filled bag with trash and now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna organize what I wanna keep in this diabetes supplies area, what I want to keep, but I want it to like be put away somewhere else, and then what goes into the bag. This is all hair and beauty stuff, but does not belong where diabetes supplies goes, so this we're gonna find another home for. Just keep it over there. Dexcoms, transmitters. Now moving on to organizing some of my Omnipods. So I have them like scattered throughout. And I actually have a combination of both Dash Pods. So those are the ones with the blue tag, as well as Omnipod 5. So those are the ones with the clear pad. So I want to make sure that I separate these when I'm organizing. I want to keep the Dash just in case I ever need to go back on Dash or want to switch back. Um, if something happened with my PDM or shipments ran out, whatever. But I don't want them organized together because I want to be able to tell when I'm running low on the five pods so I can keep an eye out for my shipment. So I'm going to separate these in a dash pile and a five pile. Glucagon pen all of the adhesives that I have, um, overlay patches, as well as like alcohol prep pads and Unisolve. I have a bunch of these like scattered throughout my stuff too. So I'm just gonna collect them all into one area. More adhesives and overlays. I have this, which is a screen protector, but I can't find it. So maybe I've already used this and which case Holding onto this box probably isn't doing anything beneficial for me. I have a lot of low snacks that I found scattered through here. So I currently keep those in my pantry. So I'm going to move them there and just keep them in this little thing until then. I have a few insulin cooling cases that I use when I travel or if I'm moving and stuff. So I'm going to organize them into their own pile. More low snacks old meters again I the meter that I currently use I have somewhere else I just feel weird throwing these out just in case anything happens so ugh, am I hoarding or am I just being prepared I think I'm gonna hold on to these they're actually both the same meter so we're gonna hold on to them because I definitely have test strips for them and if anything were to happen I just like having the backup I keep this, this is like a pack from Sugar Medical. I keep this stocked with the meter that I currently am using and insulin as well as um, 
my pen needles that's usually where I keep them and I actually like having them here this is kind of what I grab if I'm going on a trip or going somewhere overnight and I just want to make sure that if anything goes wrong I have everything I could need for backup and I usually just throw like a pen needle in there so I'm gonna keep them in here I know where they are and then I'll just store this in the cabinet I found the extra screen so I'm glad I didn't throw this away yet I just put it aside but I have an extra screen if I ever need to get another Omnipod controller I will put this on it and lastly, I just have some like pouches, clear pouches from a variety of things that I've kind of always used with my diabetes stuff. So I'll hang on to these and figure out how I can organize things within it to make things easier to access and grab out um, once we take a look at what we have space-wise. All right, so here's everything all organized that I'm looking to keep and we'll find a way to fit into here. This is a very small space to be filming in. I'm like between the door and the cabinet. So um, the angles won't be the best here, but we're gonna give it a try. I found these on Amazon. The reason I picked them is because they have drawers and they're clear so I can see what's in them and how much is left of things. And I like that they were kind of open. I don't like things super closed off. I feel like it just takes more effort to look for things or have to, you know, I, I want to make this as stress-free as possible. That's my whole thing with organizing this. Got two sets of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to put them together. I think this looks like the bottom. There's two sets of two. So I have all have four total drawers, and then the drawers have dividers. I like categorizing things. That's not right. Oh my God, this is perfect. It's so easy. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, first try is made. This is exactly what I wanted. They're like, the trays are removable, right? So I can take this off if I need to refill it or bring it away. For a while, I used these ones from the container store that you like pull out and it's kind of frosted on the front, but it's completely enclosed. And I just felt like things got lost in there and thrown in there. I love that this is open so that I can actually see everything and organize it well. I have three more to make. It was getting way too hot in the bathroom and it was just such a small space and I kept stepping on things that I shouldn't be stepping on. So I moved everything out to my kitchen table and I'm gonna actually do the organization here. I'm gonna start with one of the taller ones and I'm gonna do a site change one. That'll be like the easiest to access when I open up the cabinet. This one's gonna have Omnipods and uh, alcohol swabs and Unisolve as well as Dexcoms and transmitters. I don't know the best way to like angle these. <laughs> um, they're a little bit too like wide for it. I'm gonna just do it kind of up like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so the site change one is done. This is the site changes that I do the most. So like I didn't include my backup dash pods. And now I'll work on putting the rest of the backup stuff in these three other containers. That took a little bit of back and forth to figure out, but it's about an hour later, not an hour later, that's an exaggeration, but I'm done. And I'm gonna walk you through where I put everything and then go put them in the cabinets and then I'm done, I'm well organized. So starting off, I showed you this already, but here's the site change one. So I have everything that I would need for like a normal site change minus the insulin, which I keep in the fridge. So this one has Omnipods, we've got Unisolve, alcohol swabs, Dexcoms, transmitters. Then I kind of have my like just in case backup one. So this has Freestyle Libre, which I think I'm just gonna give away because I'll never use that. Extra meters. I also have my extra Omnipod PDM dash under there. These are dashes. And then glucagon and needles, pet needles. So. Again, insulin pens would be in the fridge, but that's where that stuff is. Okay, then I have my like adhesive kind of one. So this is organized by overlays for the Omnipod. These are just like the ones that go around it. And then over here's the overlays that actually go over the pod itself. 
because if the adhesive's coming off, I'd use these, but if the actual pod was kind of tearing off from the adhesive, I'd use these. And then Dexcom, I really only have the around the adhesive for those, so those are my Dexcom ones. And then under there, again, my just my extra case and the extra screen protector. So if I had any other cases, I don't have a ton of cases, I'd put them there. And then lastly, I have kind of my travel bin. So this is like the common things that I typically bring with me if I travel. This would be like a day trip. This is like longer. And then I have a few little bags in there too, just if I needed to take stuff and organize it on the go. And then I have my insulin cooling stuff here. There we are. So easy. So when I need to do a site change, like for Dexcom, I literally just grab this and then an alcohol swab. If I need to do a site change for Omnipod, I literally just have to grab that out. So easy. I love it. I think that this actually does help make site changes and diabetes logistics with supplies feel a lot better because you know where everything is it's nice and organized so yay and this is pretty easy to like maintain like this too which I like like it's not overly complicated they're not like in a bunch of different like drawers that you can't see I love that it's all like out in the open so anyway thanks for hanging out with me see you guys later